we are back again with another Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. And let me tell you, this one is actually a really fun match. So listen, over half of you that are watching this battle right now are not subscribed. So do us both a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's free, it only takes a second. You can always change your mind later. And I've got plenty more Scarlet and Violet videos on the way, but let's go ahead and take a look at this man's team. Uh, it looks like he has basically a group of Pokemon that can all literally eat my children. Some very scary Pokemon, especially Chien Pao, Dragapult, things like that. But let's get into it. So I'm thinking, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and lead off with the old Kmart version of Zapdos, the Zap Trace, who can easily just get a nice little Volt Switch off, do some damage, outspeed stuff. But unfortunately for me, he actually ends up leading off with the Dragapult. And that is wildly inconvenient because I both cannot get a Volt Switch off here and now I have to hard switch into something against a goddamn Dragapult. Uh, so I decide to go into the Tooth Fairy. I bring in the Tinkaton who can, you know, take attacks on this thing, obviously being fairy type, but it's always a risk switching in when he, we know that these things generally carry Flamethrower. Uh, luckily for me, he actually just ends up going for the U-turn, which is nice. And he decides to bring in the Slow King. So honestly, I'm not really sure about the role of this Slow King on this team. It could be... You know, here to go for the chilling reception, something like that. Try to set up on me. I decide, fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and dance with some swords as he actually ends up going for the flamethrower. Um, so I take that pretty nicely and I know that I can fire off an attack here. And I'll tell you, the only thing scarier than a big ass hammer is a sharp big ass hammer because at plus two attack, I'm looking pretty damn nice here. So I'm thinking about this for a minute, thinking I could potentially go for the Terrastalize. Knowing that his Corviknight is the best answer for Tinkaton, I actually have Electric Terra on this thing specifically to just murder Corviknights, just like this dude's Pokedex entry. Um, I decided to not go for the Terra there. I figure I'm going to go for the knockoff. It's the safest play against the Slow King. If he did end up bringing Cor Corviknight after, I could then, you know, go for the Terra. Uh, but I don't want to go for it too early because I know the Terra on this team is pretty valuable. So he actually ends up going into Tyranitar and I say, that is fine. I'm going to squish that motherfucker like a bug, collect his teeth. And, uh, you know, obviously I'm the Tooth Fairy, just go ahead and stick those in the old pockets. And uh, Tinkaton's out here making a name for herself. Unfortunately, um, the only thing, that, you know, is in my way is this damn Dragapult with his ghostly ass tail, who can, you know, just come in here, outspeed me, kill me with a flamethrower. And I have to get my ass out of here, because Tinkaton is actually looking pretty good uh, against a couple Mons on their team. So, now this is a pretty interesting play. I decided to bring in the big Fungus Chungus. Uh, who comes in on the flamethrower, obviously not ideal. However, this is kind of the Pokemon I decided to opt to kind of sack at this point. I don't have many things that wants to switch into Dragapults. Uh, I could have gone into Tauros, but there's no guarantee he's going to expect me to stay in with the Tinkaton and go for the flamethrower. Uh, so I figured my safest option is to just kind of go ahead and sack the Toad Scroll here. It's not the most valuable Mon against the rest of his team. And I figure getting the sack on this thing can allow me a free switch. Um, to try to make something else happen. So sometimes you just got to kind of designate a Mon that's going to end up, you know, not being worth it. I likely probably should have just stayed it with Tinkerton there um, because the Spore support would have been nice. But, you know, it's fuck it. Sometimes you just go for some shit. So uh, this allow allows me a free switch into the boy Orange Peel. Now, I'm using original form Don Fan, both because my dude needs some damn representation these days. There's two other new Don Fan forms that are out here uh, just like taking over the ladder. And everybody seems to have forgotten about the original Rolly Boy. So I'm out here just showing some love to him. Uh, I end up going for the Stealth Rock here. This is kind of just a standard max HP, max attack with uh, hazards and rapid spin. Overall, still extremely good support mon and hits really hard. And I just wanted to show my boy some love. Your tusks may not be great, but you're still a winner in my heart. Anyway, he ends up going for the Defog. Imagine how embarrassing it must be to be this Don fan saying, I just put up them Stealth Rocks, placed them all carefully, and then a bird comes in and blows him away immediately. D fucking disrespectful and rude. Um, but I go for the knockoff there, and now I'm thinking I actually have a pretty interesting matchup here. Uh, he's not going to be able to do too much here with the Brave Bird, so I'm actually just going to stay in, go for another knockoff here, put it down close to half. And my plan is this. If I can get this thing to land on the ground with Roost, I can actually hit it really hard with an Earthquake. Um, so that's actually what I'm going to go for. I don't have much to lose if he doesn't go for it. So I click Earthquake. He does go for the Roost. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, if you go for a uh, ground move on the same turn that the opponent goes for Roost, uh, he is going to get hit by that Earthquake. And now he's just pure Steel type, so I'm able to get a huge chunk of damage there. And luckily, that works out for me. So when Orange Peel's over here just still you know, eating, eating his leftovers, having a damn good time. So uh, at this point, I don't have much of a reason to switch here. He's going to end up just going for the U-turn, which is great. Uh, so my idea is that if I can set Stealth Rock back up, the next time that Corviknight comes in, I can easily chip it with like anything on my squad. So, uh, I go for the knockoff here as he brings in Slow King. And Don Fan is just out here taking names right now. He says, hey, take off that assault vest, my boy. You're looking like a goofball on the battlefield. But uh, at this time, I can have, I have a couple different options. I know that another knockoff actually takes care of this thing. But I also know that I would really like my Stealth Rock to be up. 
Uh, so I am going to go for this Stealth Rock here. I know obviously he can defog it, but my plan is to just kill that Corviknight before it's able to do that. So I go for the Stealth Rock there, able to outspeed. Um, he ends up just going right for the Surf. These things do not <laughs> any longer have access to Scald, uh, which is a real kind of water type, uh, you know, nerf. But good for me. Regardless, this thing just goes ahead and Surfs on my ass, and now Donphan is dead. But I've done kind of what I needed to do. And now this opens up the door for me to bring in Optimus fucking Prime. Pretend that there's Lincoln Park in the background and all the Decepticons are scared as shit. Uh, but reali realistically, Re Revel Room is a super cool mod, and I really just wanted to see if I could get this thing to do anything. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Shift Gear. Now, I know this thing is carrying the Flamethrower. I know that I can take one. Even if it's a crit, I am Focus Sash. So, uh, I'm thinking with, you know, a nice little shift here, I go get my ass into Maximum Overdrive. It's gonna give me a plus two speed boost and a plus one attack. And I should be able to go on a little bit of a, a, little bit of a rampage here. Uh, so, now I easily I outspeed everything. I decide to go for the Poison Jab. Takes care of the Slow King. And look at my boy Rev Room out here doing the damn thing. He's just an engine with rocks for wheels. Um, he doesn't even need the rest of the, the fucking Team Star car. Uh, but in comes Corviknight. Now I'm thinking, okay, hopefully that Stealth Rock damage is going to put it in range for an Iron Head to kill. So, all I can really do is click Iron Head here. I'm actually Terra flying on this thing, trying to expect uh, some ground moves. But I go for the Iron Head here. He actually flinches and cannot move, which is amazing. Because uh, that Corviknight was for sure going to go for Roost there. But I say, not today, my boy. And another Iron Head does take care of the Corviknight. So interesting to see, you know, my Poison Steel ass taking care of the Corviknight. Needed a little extra help, but we were able to make it happen. So now he gets a free switch into the Chien Pao. This is literally one of the scariest mons in the OU metagame right now. And I immediately realize as soon as it switches in that I'm about to get my ass sucker punched. And there's pretty much nothing I can do to stop that. I was really hoping to be able to outspeed uh, everything else on the team and do some damage with Optimus. But I basically have to stay in here, take the sucker punch like a man. And uh, it's unfortunate. So the Rever Room is going to come to an end there. But still cool to see that Mon do some stuff. I've literally never seen anybody use it yet. Uh, but what that does do is now allows me a free switch into the Tauros. Now, you may be thinking, I still have the Terra in my back pocket. And the reason why I've been saving it is pretty much at this point here. Looking at the remainder of his team, he's got the Chien Pao, he has the Dragapult, and he has the Iron Valiant. All of which do not want to take a fairy move. So luckily, I'm actually offensive... Terra Fairy on this Tauros, and I go for that as he actually ends up switching into the Dragapult, expecting uh, the fire move here. I'm about to go ahead and just go full Fairy on his ass, and this Dragapult came in, and he's about to get his day entirely ruined uh, by a regular ass looking Tauros who's just differently colored in this gen. But I honestly really like uh, the, the Paldean Tauros, they're super fun to use, and actually extremely good with a bunch of different ways to use them. But I now go ahead and go full fairy. I'm able to do Terra Blast, and that is easily going to take care of the Dragapult. Keep in mind, I am actually Choice Scarf on this Tauros as well, so I outspeed everything. And while I am now locked into Terra Blast, that is completely fine because this end game kind of uh, sets it up perfectly. So now he's going to bring in the Iron Valiant, another very scary Pokemon who probably comes in thinking, look at this cute Tauros with a little heart on his head. Little does he know he's about to get his skull absolutely bashed the hell in uh, by a fairy Terra Blast. So. This is actually like the first battle where I've ended up going for the Terra on this Tauros, but thank god it actually works pretty nicely, and Iron Valiant actually just goes right down to that. So the last Mon left is going to be that Chien Pao. He actually has not used a Terra of his own yet, so if he has a defensive Terra on this Chien Pao, he could potentially take one attack, um, but I don't believe he's going to be able to knock me out in one hit regardless. So I just stay in and keep blasting. That's pretty much my motto on this Tauros, and it worked out well for me. So that... Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be the end of the match. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. It truly does help out the channel. All the support has been amazing on all these Scarlet and Violet videos. I'm having a whole lot of fun with it. And if you have any recommendations for mons you would like to see me use, go ahead and post them down in the comments. I'm building a lot of new teams, trying to get some interesting mons that not a, a lot of people have seen yet. So if you have any recommendations, pop them in the comments, and I will see you next time. Peace out.